Hi everyone, it's me Cynthia. In part one of this series, my colleague Promote discussed vulnerabilities inherent in VPNs and offered some methodologies to secure VPN services and detect unusual VPN access. In this video, I'm going to talk about the heightened malware risk that exists in a work from home scenario. I'll also show you how to detect malware disguised as productivity tools. But before I do, remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel below. Adaptation is a challenge, and as your workforce continues working remotely, security operation centers, or SOC teams, face a learning curve in securing an even larger threat landscape, one that forces an evolution in their security strategy. Malware encompasses any malicious program or code used by attackers. Its intent is to damage a system, its data, or gain unauthorized network access. It shows up in many forms, adware, spyware, viruses, worms, trojans, and ransomware, to name a few but attacker's goal is always personal gain. Malware attacks have rapidly increased, and Security Magazine reports 7.2 billion of them were launched in just the first three quarters of 2019. Many companies have adopted a defense in depth security architecture. That's a layered security model designed to protect the physical, technical, and administrative controls of a network. Having several lines of defense means if one control fails, another is ready to throw an attack. Physical controls limit or prevent physical access to IT systems like badge access or CCTVs. Technical controls protect systems or resources using hardware or software, like firewalls, authentication, behavioral analysis. And administrative controls are policies or procedures to ensure security guidance. This could be data handling or hiring practices. But while perimeter tools help internally secure the network, most organizations never foresaw an almost 100% remote or external workforce. Endpoint detection and other anti-malware response tools are rendered wholly ineffective. Attackers are working overtime to take advantage of your staff and their devices now being outside of your corporate defense and depth strategy. Employees are potentially working on unsecured Wi-Fi networks, using personal laptops that aren't monitored or secured, and are quite possibly running outdated, unpatched systems. As they transition to their new work from home environment, many are downloading new applications such as productivity tools um, or Zoom backgrounds. Their intention is to be more productive, but they're potentially exposing their systems and your corporate data and remote servers to malware. On March 13th, a cybersecurity and infrastructure security agency alert recommended security teams be prepared to ramp up the following remote access cybersecurity tasks, log review, attack detection, and incident response and recovery. Today, it's increasingly more critical to strengthen the detection and investigation of malware-infected hosts. You can leverage a SIM to increase your defense in depth in the following ways. Log abnormal executions or connections. Leverage event codes. Windows Security Log Event ID 4688 shows when a new process has been created, and ID 5156 reveals when the Windows filtering platform has permitted a connection. These codes provide insight into an endpoint's anomalous behaviors even when you don't have an endpoint detection and response system deployed. Tune Exabeam rule scores. A sudden organization-wide change means some rules may need a score adjustment. For example, you might adjust the first execution of a process rule to increase the severity of this anomaly. This flags potentially risky users for, re for review by analysts. Threat hunt for first execution. Say you have six months of data and no one has executed a new process related to it over the same period. If someone all of a sudden does this, it's worth investigating. Analysts can save and run such a search query daily to keep tabs. An influx of such events is likely since employees will be downloading tools to improve productivity. Threat hunting on first execution of a process provides an added layer of defense. Create a watch list. Any user executing an initial process event should be placed on a watch list and monitored for at least 24 hours. If their risk score increases within that period, investigate to determine if the download was malicious. Watchlist automation. Automatically add a user to a watchlist if they exhibit abnormal process activity and their aggregate risk score exceeds a specific threshold. You can configure a TTL with the entry so the user automatically rolls off the list. No further abnormality occurs. Retrain staff. Retrain your employees regarding your organization's security policies. Cybersecurity may not be top of mind, so it's important to remind them to be aware. Share some downloading and link clicking best practices to remind each to be careful what you download. Check that every website has a security certificate. Verify that you know each sender's ID before clicking email links. 
Don't trust pop-up notifications. Keep updated with the latest operating systems and browsers. Remove any legacy applications you don't use. These six steps add another security layer to improve malware avoidance. Remember to subscribe to our channel and feel free to ask any questions you have in the comments below and I'll answer.